The purpose of today's video, I'm going to show you how to take any length of GoPro footage and edit it and polish it down faster than you can record it live. We're gonna be able to front load our footage with highlight reels. I'm gonna be able to stick a promo video in there. And then we're gonna have the long format footage all edited with inside time bolt. So now when you get these cameras, it's going to be super simple. After you get home, just to throw this in time bolt, do your quick edits, upload to YouTube and go out and shoot the next day. Now I just dropped my video into time bolt. Before we get started, I would like to say this is about 20 minutes worth of GoPro footage and time bolt is a video editor a rapid video editor for windows and mac computers you don't have to upload to the internet first it works on your computer it was built to remove dead air silences and even ums and ahs out of long format video but i'm going to show you here how you can use time bolt without even using sound detection to edit faster than you can possibly do in any other editor as you can see we're not going to need to use the dead air removal this isn't about speaking video this is about editing action footage so what i'm going to go ahead and do is move this and put the silences at 10 seconds so it does not detect any silences I hit update silence detection settings and so all you see right here is there are no automatic cuts I'm gonna be using some quick keys to go ahead and blow through this and get the edits I'll tell you what I'm doing in the process of doing it I'll just go ahead and start my timer now I'm gonna show you how I can edit this faster including chapters for YouTube as I'm editing with the 20 minute countdown this is a 20 minute file as you can see right here let's see if I can get this fully polished timeline in less than 20 minutes or less Ready, go. First thing I'm gonna do is put my preview at 1.5x speed, and I'm gonna look for what my where my intro is, what I wanna keep. I'm Doug, this is my dog Shadow Park, it's showtime. Let's see, we'll keep that. I'm Doug, this is my dog Shadow with Dog Park, it's showtime. Hit the back I'm cut. This is my dog Shadow Park, it's showtime. This is the right edit, video right back behind the I always like to usually just kind of cut up to the scene, back cut, I'm gonna back cut that, split again. Shadow. There goes Shadow through. I like to usually wait until they get some other dogs coming up. Uh-oh, here we got his one nemesis. We'll back cut this. And what I also like to do is slow down instances where we're seeing dogs, okay? So fast forward silences, we'll put it at 0.5 seconds. Okay, let's see, let's make sure this is where we wanna, it's coming in hot there. We turn that to orange, it'll slow it down by half. We'll go ahead and mark that as part of our highlight reel, which puts a little yellow marker there. We'll go ahead and say old nemesis. Our two favorite things are spell check and name tag. Here we go, we got our first fight. Oh, he comes and jumps on him. Some good action right there, he comes and jumps on him. We'll go ahead and mark that as a key scene. Look at these dogs, they still want some more. We'll just go ahead and slow that down. Go ahead and stop, put a split there, just in case there's no action. Oh, here we go, here's the great pair of knees. So split that, back cut that, so now we're up here. Let's see, split. They're starting to go at it. Ooh, these dogs wanted some that day. Mark that, key scene. And what we're doing is, as I'm marking these key scenes, I'll be, um, ooh, that was a good catch. Oh wait, no. Shadow's getting him away. I was like uh, slowing it down when he goes, ooh, that was a good catch. Somehow I came up with that. I'm gonna undo that cut, put a good catch right here, and I'll just go ahead and mark that scene. First call it first catch of the day. I usually like to cut that out if I'm like fixing his chain. Slow that down a little bit. Happens so fast. You can either fast forward or slow it down. See, I'm cutting out these little chunks, you know, in between. This one looks like it might be an actual catch. If I want it that close, so what I'm going to do is slow this down. It's going to mark. Go up front. There we go. Here's our next throw. Looks like we got another dog. Just a real shitty day for throwing frisbee. Uh oh, who's this collie? What is, is this a collie? It's a nice catch. Let's go ahead and mark that. And as you can see, as I'm marking up key scenes, the mark duration is showing right here. 16 seconds so far. Dog does not like shadow. <laughs> oh, 
probably gonna sit on it. Take a little rest. Keep all that since there's other dogs in the frame. I just heard that I closed out the show. Actually, I didn't want that segment, so I just hit back cut. Look how I'm just using the keys, just some quick keys, USOB. Hit B, see, let's just see my back, it just cuts the back part. Okay, so that was the end of the show. It's 18 minutes, and I am 16 minutes in. As you can see, I'm basically editing minute for minute, okay? So I'm gonna turn the rest of this off because there's nothing else that happens. Hit O, okay? So now what I do is I'm going to save my timeline cuts because I just like to save these things pretty soon, you know, when I'm, when I'm finished making the episode. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is go to keep only mark cuts, which is going to take us to cuts where we put in yellow, okay? And what I'm gonna do here is just make my highlight reel. See how it only keeps, and this is the reel that I'm gonna be putting up front, it's like the teaser. All I do is go down to export video, and it's going to export just those cuts. All right, now's where the fun stuff happens. We've already marked the key scenes, I pulled those out, we've got our timeline cut up, and now it's time to stitch all this together. I simply go to stitch, first I add our raw clip, which is that long, long format 20 minute GoPro that's unedited. I apply the JSON file that we saved. And just like that, we don't need to re-render. That contains all of our cuts. I'm gonna add our highlight reel, and then I'm gonna add our promo video that's for the whole channel. Now, I can reorder these. Our highlight reel is obviously gonna come first. Drag that over. Then it's gonna be the promo video. Seems to be the recipe for success on YouTube. And so now I can hit spacebar and actually preview what's happening. See, this is our highlight reel. Then it'll flow right into our promo video and then it'll flow into our main format content. Now, this is what's really cool. I hit export video. I can export in 4K, 1080, vertical or horizontal. In this instance, I do 4K at 60 frames per second. You pick anything from 23.976 all the way up to 60. We have the whole menu of frames that you could possibly want. Now, what's really cool is, is that, you remember those chapter markers that I created? I'm gonna hit download chapters text file. You're gonna copy and paste this and put it directly into the description on YouTube. Now that also takes into account the extra promo video and preview video with our key highlight scenes. That tacks on the time to the front and takes in consideration that math when it's calculating your time for YouTube chapters. I hit export video. I can then add background audio. I can also add logos to the top left, bottom right, wherever. I now hit export video. And now when I go for a run, where I go take my dog out to get our next bit of video, I let this thing run. It renders out in beautiful 4K, and then it'll be ready to upload to YouTube. What you are looking at is GoPro footage that is polished, categorized for YouTube, assembled into highlight scenes and reels faster than you can record it live, said no one ever before. This makes me want to go shoot more GoPro and get more content up on YouTube. Thanks for watching, and I'm out of time. <laughs>